What's up everybody, this is the Classic Tycoon here, and we are starting a new series um, on a Let's Play of Diamond Heights. Diamond Heights is a classic um, scenario, and this is our goal. Your objective, to achieve a park value of at least $300,000 at the end of October Year 1. Diamond Heights is an awesome theme park already, and we're just going to be trying to make this thing better and more valuable. So you can see our current park value is 186,000 over three years. We've got to get that thing up to 300,000, which is actually a harder task than you might think. Um, first order of business, we got to go through here and increase the prices of all the roller coasters because they're a little bit lowballing, actually. Um, so I just go through, check all the excitement ratings, and I adjust the, the, uh, I'm sorry, I adjust the, um, <laughs> the price accordingly, <laughs> uh, matching the price to the excitement ratings. So some really good roller coasters here, claustrophobia, I mean, 8.11 excitement rating, that's an awesome roller coaster already, so. Diamond Heights is a fairly difficult park, honestly. I know it's one of the first ones in the game, but they give you so little space to actually build on. And you've got this huge lake, and one of my least favorite things to do is build lake rides. <laughs> um, and there's, yeah, there's just not very much you know, buildable land. So that's something we're going to have to deal with in this series. Notice um, I did just check and they have not a single shop or stall in the park. So we're going to have to build, first of all, an information kiosk for these people to buy park maps right when they walk in um, and umbrellas and all that stuff. So that when it rains, you know, they all have umbrellas. Plus, information kiosks are one of the best sources of money in the entire game. So let's put an information kiosk in here first. Um, another thing, they don't have any shops or stalls at all, so I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to have to put food and drinks and restrooms all over the park. Which is pretty much what we end up doing for today's episode. Um, I'll build one ride today. But, yeah, I, you just got to get these things done at the beginning of Diamond Heights. You don't want all the guests angry immediately because they don't have any food. Um, another thing I'm going to do is put an advertising campaign for claustrophobia. That'll get us some, you know, good guests coming in right at the start here. So we'll do that. Um, with that initial cash that we have. Another nice thing about this park is that you don't start out with a big loan. So we don't have to worry about that. We've already got all these big rides that cost a lot of money. And so money's not an issue at all in this park. So let's put in the first restroom right there so we guys have somewhere to go to the bathroom. And then we'll put in some uh, food stalls as well. Another problem with this park that you might have just noticed is that they don't initially have any drink stalls, so we got to make sure that we're researching um, that that's going to be researched. So let's check out. Well, let's uh, let's build our food stalls, and then we'll make sure that that is getting researched. Um, we'll put our research to maximum funding so that everything comes in quickly. It's a little bit more expensive, but. I mean, money, again, like I said, money is not really going to be an issue in this series. It's uh, more of a timing problem because as much as, you know, we've already got a park rating of, or a park value of 186000 And that seems like, oh, we're already close to our, our goal. But they give you three years for a reason. It's actually can be kind of difficult to get that up. And we're going to have to force some roller coasters in as we go along. So... So there's our food stalls. Now we just gotta wait for that funding to bring us a drink stall. And you can see it is um, a shop and stall that is being designed first. I think they do that intentionally. 
so that your guests don't go thirsty and die. I don't think they'll actually die if they don't get anything to drink. They'll just be angry and they'll leave. So the park value has already gone up um, by almost 10,000 just by adding those uh, shops and stalls. So that's good. Um, that might also be because our guests are coming in. You know, I don't know all of the factors that um, go into park ratings. I've never really researched that. But generally, the more rides you have, the more your value, <laughs> your park value is uh, worth. And probably the higher the rating and all that stuff. There's probably lots of factors that go into that. So just make sure your park is the absolute best that it can be, and that park value will start to go up. First ride I'm going to build here is just a pirate ship. Um, I feel like this is appropriate to put on the water and to make use of the water. So we'll do that first. I try to find a good spot here right um, right next to, I think this is Arachnophobia right here, right? So I think that's it. Correct me if I'm wrong. That might not be Arachnophobia. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll put it right on the water. That's a good spot, and that will also hopefully, you know, increase the excitement rating of the roller coaster that's sitting next to. So as I struggle to build this queue line here, um, what kind of things do you guys like to do on Diamond Heights? Have you guys played Diamond Heights before? Um, it's a great park. It's you know it's a great pre-built park. It's not really one of my favorite parks to actually um, try to complete, but we're gonna do it here. Um, I don't know if you guys saw that red notice that came up. It said that the guests can't find the restrooms in the park. And I realized I only built one. So we'll have to build some more of those after I put in this no entryway sign. And you guys know, I, I've mentioned this before, I, I like to make my restrooms plenty abundant um, throughout the park. And that will help that park rating stay up. Because guests use the restroom more than they eat more than they drink as far as I know so we'll put a couple of those in here I think this is a good spot for this one and as we do that notice that the drink stall did just complete researching so we're gonna add just a couple of these in the park as well so as you can see you know especially with a, a park that's already kind of pre-built you really gotta do some of these maintenance things take care of these right at the beginning um, of the series or of, of the series just at the beginning of you know getting the park started so the next thing I'm gonna do is go through and well make sure that um, we have plenty of staff you know this is already a fairly big park one thing I don't like that they did is they put in these two mechanics and they've got pathways assigned to them that they have to follow which is weird I was gonna go through and take out all of these but I figured I'll just leave those mechanics the way they are and if we need more mechanics later, I'll just put some in that don't have pathways to walk. That doesn't really make sense to me. Um, I mean, I guess it's good to keep them near rides that need, you know, just in case. So there's not like two mechanics on one side of the park. But what I find is, you know, usually through the inspections and stuff, um, Mechanics will disperse through the park fairly well. Same with handymen and all staff for that matter. So I hire a couple more handymen. I know that it's that you know the parks are pretty gross already, or the the uh, the pathways are pretty gross already. So I do that, and then another thing we go through here and do is put in no entryway signs in all the ride exits that 
require them or that should need them because I don't want guests just walking in random places ending up hitting ride exits where they could just be walking you know towards actual ride entrances and making money so we'll just go through and check it out and just uh, make sure that that is being taken care of all over the park So in the next episode, you know, I'm honestly not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, there's not much researched. Everything, all of the roller coaster designs have already been used except for the mini roller coaster. Maybe I'll build one of those, but um, those probably don't add a lot of value to the park, but we'll see. Uh, maybe I'll do a looping roller coaster or something, even though there's already two awesome looping roller coasters in this park gonna have to step our game up on this one and try to match um, how good these pre-built rides are but yeah guys um, thanks for watching this one and just uh, doing the maintenance with me here um, we're at about four thousand dollars already you can see that this park just generates cash like crazy right from the beginning we'll uh, keep doing marketing campaigns get some more guests in here and yeah thanks for watching guys see you in the next one